In this video, I'm gonna show you what's inside these styrofoam disco balls. And then we're gonna transform them into something a little more fun, unique, and creative. And give them a little greenery in life. In this video, we're gonna discover what's inside that styrofoam disco ball, whether it's hollow or solid, and transform them into cool planters like these. Let's get into the video. I use a small bowl to keep the disco ball stable while working on taking all the top mirrors off. I slowly just picked them off until I found the right diameter that I wanted for the planter and use an X-Acto knife to cut the outside inside. I quickly found that the X-Acto knife was not gonna make it all the way through because the smallest disco ball was actually solid. Solid styrofoam. So we were gonna have to do some work to get that hollowed out. I used my multi-tool to cut out and hollow out the center of the disco ball for the planter. I also cleaned up all the edges using the multi-tool. Once I was satisfied with the way the inside of the planter looked, I came back in and cleaned all that mess up with my shop vac, and then proceeded to glue back on the mirrors that I took off, giving myself a nice little border or rim around the inside of the planter. Because of the natural step down to the mirrors, I cut a diagonal piece to help finish off the edge. I then came back in with some acetone to clean up any of the excess glue residue that was left behind from the glue up. Now because this was a smaller disco ball, I felt it a best fit to do an air plant rather than a plant that was going to need soil and a little planter cup. It fit in there just perfectly and now all that was needed was to hang it up. Now there's multiple ways that this could be hung, macrame, rope. I wanted to go with metal chains so I used these jump rings and drilled a small pilot hole using a drill bit in between the styrofoam, found my three points, didn't really measure, just eyeballed it. And once my pilot holes were drilled, I just went in with the jump ring, made sure to close it off, and push it down to the bottom of the styrofoam so that it made it nice and sleek. Once I had my jump rings all set up, it was just time to add some chain. I found this on Amazon, but of course you could find it probably at a jewelry store or craft store, and just used smaller jump rings to attach it to the larger jump rings. Once the plant was in, it was just time to uh, see how it looked. Now that we've seen what's inside the small disco ball, let's find out what's inside that medium-sized disco ball. I repeated the same process I did with the smaller disco ball by pulling off the top mirrors and then finding that diagonal slope to help for the transition. I used my glass cutting tool to cut down the mirror to give that diagonal cut and then just came in with my pliers to break away any of the mirror that I was looking to get rid of. I glued my angled mirror pieces back on and cleaned up any of the excess glue and Sharpie with some acetone. Now it's time to find out what's inside that medium disco ball. I started with the X-Acto knife but realized it wasn't deep enough to get all the way through. But with the multi-tool, I was able to find out it was actually a hollow disco ball. Perfect. This made the cleanup so much easier, as well as the whole process so much easier. I came back in with the excess mirrors and this time I gave myself two rows of mirrors for the inside lip. I repeated all the same steps to be able to hang the disco ball just using larger size jump rings because this was a larger disco ball. I found it easier to measure out the three chains first and connect them with one jump ring. That way when it came time to construct the planter, it was all done in one step. The medium eight inch diameter disco ball definitely was the easiest to construct because there was no hollowing out of the inside and it was pretty straightforward. Now let's dive into the large 12 inch disco ball. I followed the exact same steps, pulled off all the top, made my diameter cut, and dug into what was inside. This time I went straight to my multi-tool. I soon found out it was a solid disco ball and I was gonna have to go back to the carving of the center. This by far was the messiest one, but also very satisfying to just get in there and dive into that styrofoam and carve out my center. Once I had my inside shaped, it was time to go back and add that mirror rim. This time I made sure to give myself a flatter base rather than a concave in base from the last one, which made it a lot easier. Then I threw in my planter, fluffed it up, and then it was time to see it in the sun. I own the planters in our greenhouse and getting to see the sun bounce off them every day is just so much fun. I had fun discovering what was inside these styrofoam disco balls and transforming them into something a little more creative. I hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to see if you created your own and be sure to tag me on Instagram if you do. I'd love if you'd follow along on the rest of my videos. Be sure to subscribe and like. And until next time, friends, I'll see you on another one.